last time on The Bill. Our chain on. We're going to go ahead and we're going to degree the camshaft just to see what the installed uh, center line is on this camshaft. We'll okay. check our cam card and see what they're recommending and we'll make sure that that's where it's at. Because if we need to change it, we, we, can, can, do we can move this gear. We can advance or retard the cam timing with this gear. And now we're close to top dead center, but we'll double check that. Okay. And here's the degree wheel on here. We're going to make sure we're at top dead center before we zero our So that, without a, without a doubt, you'll know you're at top dead center. Right. Okay. There's zero. Lined up. We're going to check the intake center line is what we're looking for here. Money. They're wanting a 106 lobe intake lobe center line. That's the installed. The camshaft's actually cut on a 110 lobe center. That's when it's a top dead center, it's at 110. Okay. So we want to be at a 106. Sixty-one. We had sixty-one. Right. Coming before the ramp. We went to top dead center and after the ramp. We were at 154. Add them together is 215 divided by 2 is 107 and a half. Okay. So we're one and a half degree off perfect. I mean, that ain't enough to really make any difference. Okay, now we got it, it dialed in. Uh, what's left to do for the camshaft? Yeah, we're going to put a locking plate back underneath these bolts, a lock tight the bolts, and there's some little tabs that you can bend up okay. to help hold the bolts from backing out. Okay. So this is the final assembly. That cam should go nowhere. Yeah, it ain't going anywhere. Very good. All right, ready to put some head gaskets on and set a head on. All right. Looking at the literature that came with our ARP bolts, they're telling us 70 foot pounds on the torque on this. Okay. The factory bolts, they go 80. But it might be a different type of material. We'll okay. go with the recommended torque on what, right from the, bolt what the bolts say. Correct. Okay. We'll do it in steps. I'm going to go 20, 50, and then 70. Okay. Let's make everything even as we can. All right. All right. Now that our heads are on, what do we got to do to get ready for the valve train? Okay, the first thing we're going to do, since we're running hydraulic lifters in this engine, I like to take them and, I mean, this is just prep a well. Okay. And we're going to drop all our lifters in there. I like to have them set up so they take oil on, bleed the air out of them. Okay. So it just, it just kind of, you know, preps the lifters to install them. So you can see the air coming out of them. See the bubbles? It's bleeding air out of them. Okay, now that we got our lifters soaking in oil, next thing we're going to check is our piston to valve clearance. Okay. I've got a solid lifter in here and I'm set up at zero lash. Okay. So what you do with this, I got me a dial indicator on top of my retainer. Right. Okay. And what you do, we're going to check where the piston is closest to the valve and it's going to be on the overlap phase of the camshaft. It'll be on the, the exhaust stroke, right? The, correct. The, the, the piston's coming up and it's chasing that exhaust valve up the hole. Okay. So we're going to go to ten thousandths before overlap, okay. and that's the, the tightest spot that's going to be in a running engine. And one thing that's really neat about it, you know, we're using our rocker arms that we're going to run, we're using our valve springs, and retainers, everything that's set up the way this motor is going to run, so this is a very accurate way to check knowing it. what you're going to have. Okay. Okay, now it's closing. We've got a piston chasing it up the hole. Okay. We're going to go to ten thousandths. Before zero, 10 degrees before zero. Okay. On the exhaust strip. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this rocker arm 
and see how far that valve goes until it top, touches the top of the piston. Okay. And we're going to read our dial indicator here, and it's going to tell us exactly how much clearance we got. There's a hundred thousandths, two hundred. I'm touching the piston right there. Got okay. About 238 thousandths worth of clearance right there. Plenty of room. That's safe engine. But now that we know that all of our piston and valve clearances are good, we're going to assemble the valve train. Okay. We got our pre soaked lifters here. In this particular engine, we got two different length push rods and take an exhaust. Okay. Got a little Lucas on our push rod ball on the tip of our valve. Okay, on your rocker arm, as you see, we got an adjuster that's going to go on top. If you look at the rocker, there's a flat spot in it. See that? That's where you're adjusting that's going to lock down into it. Okay. See that? It's real easy to put it in backwards and then you're going to sure have Sure as I could, yeah. yeah. And there you adjust your valve lash, which this is a hydraulic camshaft. It's a preloaded lash. Right. And then you take and you lock it down with this center bolt. All right, we got them on there. Now what? Okay, we're going to adjust the, the rocker arm and set the lash on it. Okay. I turn the engine over, and I'm going to watch this intake, as you see, and okay. these are already loose. Okay. okay. Just turn the motor at much, loosen things up. Gotcha. Got my lifter at total lift, and I'm going to watch it, and it's starting to come back down. At that point, this exhaust uh, lifter is on the total back side, which is the base circle of the camshaft, the okay. flat side basically. All right. And that's when I adjust this side. Okay. And there it comes. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Tight as a drum.